Ghostman Horror Presents Where Zombies Walk Jack Carney was from New York City where no worries about meeting a zombie but the little Caribbean island of Odo. It was very different. Carney's hobby was probing into what he called ignorant superstitions. He laughed at warnings, but he wasn't laughing when he met his ghastly fate. A terrible night when he dared to go where zombies walk. Oh no! I shouldn't have gone here, come here, so let me alone! Jack Carney had come to Hobo to visit his sister, Alice, her husband, who was an American consul there. It's nice to have you with us, Jack, dear. I bet Hobo's an interesting place, full of voodoo and all that sort of stuff. Look, just what it is a zombie. Zombie? Well, I can only tell you what the natives believe, Jack. The idea originally came from the West African... Africa, the voodoo culture is there. It's a worship of the god of the fake patron. A supernatural power which reanimates dead body. A man dies, the power reanimates the corpse, makes it, it what they term a zombie. A walking corpse, creepy stuff, huh? The zombie idea to kill you, huh, Bob? A defense zombie's touch can be power for good. A healing power to cure the sick. More than superstition, Jack. The natives here is a religion. You're not afraid of the zombies, are you, Nanny? Oh, Nana, madam, zombies. They have been very good to me. When I was sick, they touched me well again. But to him who does not believe a zombie touch may, would be death. He means me, ha huh? And the native serving girl had left the room. That maiden of yours seems to know a lot about zombies. Does she go home nights? She lives near with her father, Pierre Pressane. He's a sugar cane field. He was originally from French Ecuador, Africa. See here, Jack. If you've got any days of probing into the zombies, cult here, I warn you, let it alone. Such things are not for white men. A zombie will lay his hands on me and be dead, ha ha. That's uh, silly, I'm not, af- I'm not afraid. And even when Jack Carney was alone in his room, guess I walk over to have a talk with a girl and her fa- uh, father. Funny stuff, this zombie business. Presently in at home of Prairie Pantane. How about talking to me, one of your cop which is quite an adventure, me meeting a real honest-to-do goodness zombie? Uh, do not say things like that. Impossible, monsieur. Okay, just in the year. Don't get mad about it. Leave my house. You prof- you profane found it. Father, father. A joy being gravy left them. But with the thickets nearby, wonder what they're saying about me, huh? I'll get closer and hear them. Father, my friend Anna Louise is sick. May I bring her tonight to the meeting? Of course, child. Go get him now. The drums will be sounding soon. A cult meeting tonight. What luck. I have a look at it. Connie followed the girl Nana to the home of her father and my father says to bring you Anna, you are a believer, you shall be cured, I'm sure of it. Oh thank you, I'm ready now. You sure are gullible. <laughs> Connie fervently followed the two girls into the weird depths of the swamp like jungle. I believe it's an assembly now to be a big meeting, Anna. There and the zombies will come to us. I'm sighted. They'll make me well again. This I've got to see. Weird and an awesome meeting place. With strange mysteries that are unknown. Not even white men. Mysteries like this. Not, not, not for white men. Mysteries like this. But Jack Carney was here. He thought it was all very funny. I bid you welcome, believers. Guess he's supposed to be the python god. I hope... Uh, nope. And now he's summoning the zombies. I hope. Uh, uh.
Zombies arise, come forth now, from where you lie in death, in the name of the great spirit of command, you've come. So, canal, come, the dead men. Zombies come, come to us poor humans. Native actors say they're sure, they're sure, put on, over the classy style. But even Jack Cunning said he's so freaking, way in a shuddering fear, one of the weird figures passed close by him, to him. Zombies, come, come. Well, Grugson, looking stink, it sure is. Zombies, I command you, place your healing touch upon the poor people, so the diseased devils may flee from them, and you will be well again. A power of faith, who shall say, is just silly nonsense. Heal her, zombie. Now she thinks she's cured. <laughs> Zombie, help me. Make me feel again. I near the sickness devil has left you. Yes. Yes, old man. Right, yeah. Thank you for bringing me. And presently the meeting was over. I thought that voodoo master looked familiar. What do you know? What do you know? He's a penitent fellow. Nina's father. Akani returned away. He did not recognize the man. He'd seen and realized that he'd been seen and recognized. Nanny and my daughter, look over there. Monsieur Akani, he is dead. Come here. Oh, show is over. Might as well beat it. Good stuff for her. If you if you like that sort of thing. Dog of disbeliever, he must pay the penalty. No, father, he's just a silly white man. It must be, it must be no way, Nigga. His law, even I cannot transgress it. No, spare him! Oh! John Carney was very pleased with himself that night, terrible night. He went back to Wu's home. He did not see what was behind him. Wait! Tell Alice or Bob about this, aha! Uh -huh. And suddenly Carney became aware of a grim, stalking shape. He tried to r run, but no, get away from me! You, you, you things! You want to touch me? Make me well. Don't, you can't have, you don't have to. I'm not sick, I tell you. Go away from me. Alright then, I am sick. Sure I'm sick. Heal me. That's what, what, what you're going to do, isn't it? Make me well again. The healing touch a zombie. Oh yes, healing touch for a believer. Ah! The disbeliever, a touch of death. The body of the missing Jack Carney was never found, and one night afterwards, maybe I think I can let you know something of your brother tonight. Another night, a full moon, if you will come with me. Something about Jack, then? What do you mean? And presently, a molten seal with a tropic moonlight, the age of the jungle swap men. Tonight, the zombies are bald zombies. Miranda, look. It's Jack, Jack. A zombie. Oh, my poor brother. 